<laughs> oh, cheers to technology. Bam. Especially today, it feels like it's so fitting today. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I send out so much love to all of you. Can you hear me? Is it the music? Is it too loud? I don't know. Wow. Right now, it's the new moon, right? New moon. I don't even know the date of it. I just know the energy that swirls up in me. I love us. Uh, you know, it's like the beginning of a new cycle for me. That's what it feels like. You know, like a cosmic reset of everything that was happening. I've been feeling a need to really organize my things. You know? <laughs> Somebody um, say to me today that I can't say love uh, God anymore because that's old school. And the way that we unite is to leave that all out. <laughs> you know, guys, this is why I always say stay in your lane. You know what I mean? Because, like, to me, love unconditional love and unity in in that that's letting people be who they are like who they are exactly who they are and just loving them like that right like i would never feel the need to go on somebody's thing and tell them how to god or love <laughs> i might have some self-love tips or something like that you know what i mean definitely always carry those in mind right but like, <clears throat> you know, I don't need to explain that, right? I don't need to explain that to anybody, but I do because it's a very touchy subject. It's a subject that comes up for a lot of people. Don't say this, don't say that, blah, 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 right? You can't be a minister and do this. You can't be a, you can't do this and do this. Why? Why can't I do <laughs> exactly what the fuck I'm doing? Like. I'm staying in my lane, right? And that's what I try to help people with, right? Stay in their lane, right? Because it's hard in this busy, busy life to stay in your lane. It really is, right? It actually takes a lot of work in this really busy life to stay in thy lane, right? So when you're all mixed up, there's, there's people out here and they're all mixed up. And, and what most people get mixed up with is what everybody else thinks that you should be because of this or that or the other thing, right? And so a lot of times, people don't go with who they authentically and originally are because they're trying to make this or that or this person 
comfortable with them, right? So this is what's been coming up a lot for me, right? You know, I overheard a conversation the other day about me, right? And it was that, you know, I share too much, right? And how, you know, people might want to work with me, but then they're not sure and all these things, right? And so it kind of like got me, right? Kind of hurt, like hurt my feelings. And I had been through this before um, in working on my business and working with my business, right? And um, they, they want you to hide things about yourself, right? They want you to hide things about yourself. Well, my business isn't a, you know, a restaurant. My business isn't a candle store. My business isn't a record store. My business isn't all these things, right? My business is the healing business. <laughs> And that's a really difficult business, right? Because the more that I heal, the more that I get real with myself, right? And so the more that I get real with myself, the more that I get real with my clients. The more real that I am with myself, the more real my clients are with me. The, mo the more real that I become, the more I don't really fuck with the fake, right? You can just, you can feel it. You, it's energy, right? It's all energy, frequency, vibration. That's why I say when you organize your home, you're organizing your energy body in a way, right? Because the inside is the outside. The outside is the inside. So I have so many people lately message me about feeling like they're in a stuck space. When you're in a stuck space, you know, I say, go clean out a closet, a junk drawer, you know, go, you know, get down with those bills that you've been avoiding, get, you know, the things that you've been avoiding, confront them so you can get through that. So then you can start to take action in your life. But the stuff is you, the stuff is you just like when the stuff is me, the stuff is me, right? I, that's why I know. So, you know, <clears throat> A lot of this spirituality stuff out here, he had he had mentioned in his comment to me, um, you know, between religion and spiritualism and what's the difference of all of these things, right? And, you know, to me, the the spiritualists nowadays are just like the the Christians, it's it's gang gang, right? Gang gang for whatever, however they're reading it. Whatever is in their reality, right? But unity is knowing that every person has their own reality, really. And it's not really up to us to go into their space, right? Like, I'm not into that. I'm not into pushing my beliefs on you right but i am here to tell you that god is love right all the time every single time so if you're ever in a moment where you don't know which one it is it's love god is love every single time for me that's what that is for me god is not a man or a woman to me god is an energy to me the energy of love that is like teaching me kind of how to navigate this crazy world right i i don't know i i don't see a face or anything to it god is what taught me energy work god is what got me to be a minister you know and it worked in through death and through trials and tribulations and hurts and pains and and all of these things and wanting to quit <laughs> But I'm not in a gang, guys. I'm, I'm just Sarah out here, right? You know, I it, it works like this. I told my little sister the other day, I said, I have people that love me and I have people that really fucking hate me. And that's really it, right? I think that's how life works. I'm just Sarah, though. And I'm just doing God my way, how I want to do it, my way. And I respect the way everybody wants to God or not God, whatever. You can't tell somebody how to God or how not to God. You can't tell somebody that their way is the wrong way to do it. 
each person, when it comes to God, each person has a very unique and specific way that they do it. That I do know. There are a lot of commonalities, right? But there are, there are very unique things. I used to snap about people trying to tell me how to God, right? I used to snap. And today I handled it very well. And so today I am celebrating myself. We, you know, and it's a journey, right? You, you get the test and you get the lessons and you get the triggers and then you get the lessons and then you get the triggers and then, oh, I didn't grab it this time. <laughs> Let me come back, right? And so then, you know, all this stuff is happening. I'm cleaning out my closets and I'm thinking about emotional maturity. Emotional maturity. Emotional maturity, the womb, right? The, the, the suffering in the womb has a lot of people out here in emotional immaturity. They're feeling feelings and then they don't, the, the feelings are powerful and they don't know what to do with them, right? And so then what does that bring up? That brings up the frustration, the anger, the trigger, right? And so all this chaos and all this stuck feeling, it's all going back to the womb, right? Because your womb is your creativity space. So if you feel stuck, you're not feeling creative, right? Your womb is your, your womb is your money. So if you're not connected to your womb, you can't see how I could possibly wear a make it rain shirt, right? En envision that for myself. Right? And that's just because you have to spend time with your womb. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. You know, emotional maturity comes through learning about yourself through your womb space, right? Women definitely need to learn this, and men also definitely need to learn this. We all have these womb spaces, and that's the level of our emotional maturity is what is going on with our womb. <clears throat> you know? And whenever you want to get emotional maturity, you know, that comes from a feeling deep within of safety and security in your root, in your own root, right? That you can sit with your own self, right? And nurture your womb space, your feelings, your inner child. Your ancestral lineages. You know, there's not just weaknesses in there, guys. There's strengths in there, too. But if you're avoiding it all together, you're not getting any of it. The hurt needs love. The hurt in us needs love. Love, love, love. That's what it needs, period. Yes, I love you, Jesus. <clears throat> You know, you want inside of yourself the security of a safe space within to nurture all the things that hurt, right? So you want to just be able to go with yourself and sit with yourself and be able to, what you know, you bring God in. God is already in what God's energy. It's everywhere, ever present, always, ever, right? And nurture the things that hurt you with that love energy to learn. That's how you learn. That's how you work. That's the work I mean. Nurturing what hurts brings emotional maturity, right? So as I nurtured what hurt in me about how I felt whenever people told me how to God, right? As I nurtured that feeling inside of me, and like that's a weird feeling to have, right? I've had that like ever since I was a young kid and I didn't ever know what that was. But it goes back, it goes back into your lineage. It goes back into the way that your lineage, you know, everyone told them how they were supposed to God, right? Because this isn't just a new issue. Trying to tell people how to God, it goes way back. Way back. We can change our emotions by nurturing them. By nurturing us in them by accepting them, by accepting us in them. 
<clears throat> Emotional immaturity is what will leave you stuck. You know, a lot of us, things have happened, bad things have happened, right, to a lot of people out here, right? And so you guard off your heart, right, and you're in your feelings about it, and you're staying guarded off about this thing that hurt you, right? But you're guarding off from everything. You're guarding off from what hurt you, but you're guarding off from your blessings, right? So that's why you work on this for you with you. Because you're blocking your own blessings. You're blocking your own self. If you're blocked in your womb space, if you're blocked from where you came from, if you're blocked, that's in you. <clears throat> nurturing that, nurturing the emotions, nurturing the hurt, nurturing the feelings, nurturing the, the connections and how it all connects, right? That is what helps you take action on your divine inspirations, right? So some people, everybody is constantly getting divine inspirations, right? You're always getting bombarded with these divine inspirations and they always come through 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 because to me, God never gives up on us, right? So even though we might be in the doo-doo and wanting to give up, these divine inspirations keep coming to us about how to handle these situations, about how to help you for what you're asking for, but you're not paying attention. You're not, because you're blocked off to everything. You know, that wound space is that being able to receive the love from love, right? A lot of us can't even receive the love from love and we don't understand what that is. It's us. We're blocked off to it. We're keeping ourselves safe over here, right? And that just takes nurturing your womb space, taking things down into the root, getting that foundation very solid so that you feel safe in your space to work on your things, right? Because everyone has things. You just have to feel safe in your space to work on your things. Wednesday is third eye energy, right? Sacred Observer, my, one of my faves, right? Visions come in from God. I love it, right? But I also know that when you are going through things in your womb space that you have not addressed and that you've been tucking and running from, that a lot of times this space can be very mixed up, right? This is why... You know, a lot of women go through postpartum depression. This is why, you know, th this is why. Womb trauma, this is, it affects the mental. It affects the actual mental and it affects the spiritual, you know, mental. Like, it's that area. They're linked up together. <clears throat> and so, that's the thing. Everyone's like, well, how do you know if womb work works? Well, because I'm different. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, like, I, womb work brings emotional maturity and the more, and I'm still working on it. Definitely always still working on it, right? However, old things that used to really get me riled up, they don't as much anymore. I know already what it is. I know exactly what to say to make me feel better and to make it how I need to make it feel, right? So we either leap up, speak up, be bold about the sacred inspirations that come into our minds, right? So they say that like when you get these divine inspirations, you should like 24, like within 24 hours, you should write something about it, like do something about it to kind of encourage that divine inspiration to to build on that right don't let it fizzle out for a couple of days because then you'll just leave it alone you can but you want to take action on it or you can stay stuck or you can just stay stuck but a lot of people are messaging me that they're sick of being stuck you know you have to nurture yourself two new visions like if you have been going through something and you know what you're envisioning is 
the gloom and the doom, um, that's what you're going to get. You know, the, the, what you envision, that's, that becomes your reality. What you see, you know, and what you feel, and then you speak those things, like, that becomes your reality. And everyone can have their own reality. But I'm saying that if you're sick of being stuck, nurture you like in the places that you feel stuck right confront the fears confront the debt confront the hardness in you confront the core lessons confront the clutter confront all of the problems face on head on pick one at a time right this this Wednesday, this third eye energy that's really, really strong today can really bring up a lot of people's addictive behaviors, right? Because the third eye and the womb space are in a direct relationship, right? And so, you know, if you're off in your visions, it's because of the womb space and because when the womb space is off, that creates addictive behaviors. Everybody has them because everybody has the womb space tendencies, right? It's just everybody's addictive behaviors are different, right? It doesn't always have to be drugs. It does not always have to be drugs that, that are these addictive behaviors. It can be like you're addicted to controlling things. You're addicted to money. You're addicted to spending. You're addicted to material things. You're, you know, you, it could be any single thing and drugs and sex it's womb stuff and we need to face it we need to face and confront the fears that are in our womb spaces that's where we store the fear that's where both men and women store fear in their womb spaces and then don't know anything about it you know the womb stuff is your shit it's your shit you know, I have mine and you have yours. Like, we all have it. Trust me. <clears throat> we all have it. And it all goes back to us as children. No way. I come on after forever. And your face pops up. I love you. I love you too, girl. I haven't been on really in a long time either. <clears throat> The hurt makes us angry. So the hurt inside of you, you know, what happens is you, you build this kind of, you know, bubble around it, like a protection bubble, right? And then it just grows layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of protection, right? And so that makes you angry, right? But then in your heart, you want, you feel like you want to be sensitive. And how do you get from there to there? That's that's the question that's been coming up, right? So, like, different people ask me different questions, but it that's the energy of it, right? I've missed you too so much. I was just thinking about you today. I had that's why I smiled when you came on because I was brushing my teeth and I was thinking about our show and how fun we had. I love you, girl. I love the way the world works. <laughs> Um, you know, how do you love yourself, you know, when you are angry like that, right? And that's unique to you. So when you get angry, you have to really start to, you know, pay attention to that. Like, pay attention to what gets you angry. Pay attention to what you do once you get angry. Pay attention to the, the pattern of that. When does that come up? Who are you around? You know, pay it, start paying attention. <clears throat> you know, I have many unique perspectives out here, right? So I was saying at the beginning about, you know, someone telling me how to go God, right? I have many, many unique perspectives on God, right? And they're very personal and they're very sacred and they're very special to me, right? Um, but like, you can have that in life. Right? So I have many different perspectives in life, too. I see, um, 
I see many people out here, you know, very, very angry, you know, and trying to have the mask on of like they're okay and that they're, you know, they're, they have it all together, not knowing that not having it all together is totally all right. Like, that's why I try to share the realest shit I go through because we don't always, always have it all together. Like, you, I don't even think you're supposed to have it all together. I think that's something that somebody made up somewhere that's some fucked up shit to make you feel like you're off track when you, do, you don't have to do that, right? Breathe and calm your nerves. Yeah, absolutely breath work. You know, absolutely take deep breaths in your nose, fill it all the way up to the top of your head and let it out really big and huge, man. And then breathe however you want to, but yes, breath work, absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> the hurt gets in the way of you like knowing that that womb space is like your superpower, you know what I mean? So like the hurt's in there and so you got that guard up in there, but like your womb space is like your creation station of you, you know what I mean? Like that's where you, um, that's where you create from, right? So if you're hurt in your womb, and it's affecting your visions, like, that's what you're creating in this life, right? And so that's why I always say, go in and nurture your womb however you come across it, right? Like, I did it how I came across it, and you can do it how you come across it. Um, I'm going to try to put together some things to try to help some women, because I've had a lot of women recently reach out and really want to do something um, different. But nurture your hurt. However, you have to love yourself to nurture your hurt. That's what you need to do. Like, that's what this journey, this learning about my womb has all been about nurturing the hurts and the fears inside of me. And it takes a while. You don't just, like, pick the first day and, like, you are nurtured all the hurts. Like, it just doesn't work like that. <laughs> you know, going through the doo-doo, guys, it makes us change. It makes us uh, expand. It makes us different, right? Going through really hard things, it, it does. It changes you. But you can let it, you can pick, does it change you for the good for you? Or does it change you for the bad for you? And you can pick that too. And like, we have to honor what everyone picks. That's what I mean. <laughs> If you feel stuck in your visions, work with your sacral chakra. For sure. You know, <clears throat> you know you have something special in you. The, the people that I talk to, I love, right? Because we're all the same, right? We all have been down this same journey, and that's how I no, and I love when I get these messages because it's just like brings me back to like, you know, I really don't know that much. Like, it's like always brand new. Like, it's always brand new stuff. It never gets old. So that's what I mean about that guy telling me today that God was old school. I'm like, it never gets old and I keep getting younger and I'm not sure what you're saying. And like, huh? Like, he like came out of vibration like, what? Right? Um... But you know you have st something special in you, especially that stuck feeling, right? So, like, in that stuck feeling, something is pushing you. Something's pushing you to message me about that stuck feeling, right? Or your friend, right? If you didn't message me, you message your friend, your mom, somebody, your sister, right? you, whatever, right? So, that's you taking some sort of action. Give yourself credit, right? You know, the special in you sometimes doesn't fit the molds out here. Mm -hmm. Mine doesn't. It's not supposed to out there. You're supposed to learn to trust that, um, you know, and, and get secure in that, in you, right? Your power in you, for you. 
so that's the thing. The more that you can feel into your own music and the power that is within you, that you've been passed down. You don't know really how to work. Okay. We're not taught that. You know, we were always taught to fear this space. You know what I mean? And it's funny because today is the third eye space, but in a lot of that, like, you know, a lot of the womb space things really come up because they are in a direct relationship, right? And so that's why I say whenever your womb space is off, then your visions will mm, kind of bug you maybe, right? <clears throat> Practical solutions. This is my favorite thing. So many people are talking about practical solutions to issues that come from the womb, and I love it. Thank you. <laughs> you know, because that is like cheers to emotional maturity, right? When, when you can finally talk about these issues in the womb space and, and, you know, come out with it, that's emotional maturity. That's, you know, when you can learn, you, you're learning to put self-love, right? The, the womb space needs self-love and nurturing, right? In men and women, right? Um, how can you do that? You can do womb work. You can do core work. Your core is your pelvic floor. You know, there's so many people out here in the world that because nobody will talk about sex or, you know, private parts or, you know, any of these things that go on in this space, right? Nobody knows about their pelvic floor. Both men and women have a pelvic floor. You have muscles that bowl your whole entire pelvis, right? And they all do something. And most don't even feel down there to know what is going on down there. You'll feel if you start working out and you get a little bit sore or whatever. But most people don't even know themselves really in the root, right? So... You know, work with your pelvic floor, both men and women. That's one big, super huge one that I am into telling people all about because it's so important in the root of you. It's the it's in the root of you. And so if those muscles aren't tight in you, that's kind of like what holds up all the guts and all the stuff and the everything's in there, right? Your pelvic floor holds everything in. And most people don't even know what that is, and it creates a lot of dysfunction if those muscles don't know how to be used, don't know how to do what they're supposed to do. Sometimes they're too tight, sometimes they're not, you know, they don't even have any kind of tightness at all. They don't have any kind of strength. You know, stretch your hips, inner child work works, getting to know your guts, getting to know your cycle, Learning to honor, you know, all that you are and all that you came from. Those are ways that you can try to work on your emotional maturity. Ask for practical solutions for your personal problems. Ask up, always think up. Ask for practical solutions for your personal problems, right? If you can't come to anybody, if you can't say anything to anybody, just send it up. Send it out to love make an effort right make an effort to attain an emotional goal of yours like where in your life do you feel like your emotions throw you off from what you're here to do look at that confront that right figure out something to do and make a goal with it it's a challenge right challenge yourself to 30 days like this is what i'm doing with this for 30 days this is what i'm doing that's how we create habits it all works out like that right all that glitters ain't gold fam people are out here fake as fuck for real for real and i get it because i was fake as fuck too you know and in learning my emotional maturity, I learned that my fake as fuck was like just a cover up of what I was shameful of, a cover up of what I was embarrassed of. A cover up for what I thought I was messing up. 
It was safe as fuck, though. But as you get real with you, it, you get realer. You know what I mean? As you get real with you, your clients get realer. You know, now the more real that I am with myself, when my clients come to me, I know they want to work with me. I know they want to do the work. I know they're ready to do the work. I know it, right? But whenever I wasn't really that real with myself, I would get these clients and they weren't real. Like, you know, it was a, it was a bad situation. And that's how you can really gauge what's going on on the inside by what's going on on the outside. And I say that a lot, right? The more that I build my emotional maturity, the more I'm able to more boldly be me, right? I have people that bump against me all the time. And it's funny because I used to really lay low, like super low. Nobody knew me anywhere, right? And then I, you know, got this tool to do these videos and all of this. And, you know, it, it's crazy because people do. They come out of the woodwork to just bump into you and blast into you and tell you about yourself and tell you what you should do and what you should be and how you should say and how you should dress and how you should, you know, love and how you should talk and how you should everything, right? I've been told about everything, right? But it's been less lately. And so that's how you know that you're growing with yourself, right? It's a reflection. But it still happens. <laughs> but now I see that it was just, you know, to mature me to realize that we really can only control ourselves, right? So if you, you know, have money issues, then you're you have to take control of that like you we can only we only have control over ourselves so if someone's doing you dirty and you have to make a move in the name of your money being better you got to do that only we have control we can't wait for somebody else to make it better for us right we can only control ourselves so if whatever anyone is doing to you you can just cut them out for sure anytime all the time right but we only the only thing we have control over is us right nothing or no one else so how we react how we respond how we think about it how we speak on it how we relate to it how we release it right that's all we can worry about whenever it comes to that right and so in that being said you are the creator of your experience. So if you're feeling stuck in any place in your life, clean up, organize your house somewhere, your junk drawer. It could be something from something super teeny tiny to some a big huge project that you wanted to try to start today. <laughs> you know, the energy of the earth is trying to work with us, right? And so that's what alignment is, right? The energy of the work of the earth is trying to work with us to help us to get the best out of our energy for our days for the things we need right but because of these human things that we think that everyone's supposed to be doing or that we're supposed to be doing or whatever like we miss it we miss it a lot of times and it's, and it's about tuning in to you it's about learning to hear what's going on with you what you need to do what how you need to eat what you need to wear what you know it's you it's, it's about being uniquely you and i know it's so hard because so many people come in with unsolicited advice <laughs> so I, should have, as I should have named this like don't nobody give a fuck about your unsolicited advice i'm over here loving myself this is my first cup i need a cup I love you guys because we're all connected, man. The moon comes up to churn us up. You know, the love that I'm working with is available to all of you. Uh, the lessons are real. The, the work and self-love that you need to do to heal and nurture the traumas that are in the womb space for men and women is a lot of work. It's a lot of really vulnerable, 
intimate, uh, you know, sometimes embarrassing, humiliating, you know, you, you cry a lot in that space. However, there's a lot of strength to access once you can get through a lot of the hurt. I love you guys because we're all connected. I know that the energy is working with us and it can feel like it is against us a lot. Um, you know, turn the vibrations on. That helps me a lot. I put them on for everything that I do. I put them on when I'm working all the time. I put them on when I'm cooking. I put them on whenever we're doing homework. I put them on when we think bath time, night time. They're constantly on here in this house. Um, I don't know, write down how you feel, you know, that's a big thing for me, I, 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 every morning I write down how I feel, you know, and I used to, like, judge myself, hello, beautiful, um, I used to judge myself for how I did it, or whatever, you know, it's, it's all a process, right, but just, you know, if you write down how you feel, then you can become aware of how you feel, right, and becoming aware of how you feel, then you can start to become a little bit more mindful about how you treat yourself, about how you feel, right? So you feel a lot of different things and you treat yourself a lot of different ways because there are a lot of different things that you feel and it's about being more mindful of that, right? Because it's up to you. It doesn't matter how anyone else treats you. How do you treat you, right? How, it's because how you treat you is how you're going to let them treat you you right and sometimes even things happen in that <laughs> nobody got it nailed out here i'm just trying to tell you the things that i've done to try to become more aware of you know when my anger will kind of take over and like burn down the whole damn project you know what i'm saying sometimes you need to do that it's all right there's no wrong way <laughs> <laughs> you'll ever 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 have to you know I don't know understand I know that the way that I see energy in life and all of those things are, are very weird um, to a lot of people but I know a lot of people um, you know when we talk they're like that just makes so much sense and I'm like yeah because it's all energy it's not personal but it is personal because it's, it's to personally get you to a life that you love right that's what i that's the only thing that i've been trying to do on this journey is get me to a life that i love you know joy happiness and peace bliss right and in order to get to joy happiness peace bliss all of those things you have to work you know what i mean for them to make it rain you have to work you know what i mean for you to even believe that the universe would rain money down on you, you have to work your womb because in our wombs, there's a poverty mind frame, right? There's a poverty mind frame in our wombs right now. It's sickening, right? We're working, we're working it. The ones that are working it, mwah, thank you, right? Because us all working it together even though we're far apart, it all works for the all, right? But we, we deserve for the universe to make it rain on us with our blessings, right? But in our womb spaces, they're so hurt and they just can't even take it in. It's out here. It's raining. Blessings. And if you're closed up in your womb space and you're closed up in your sacred observer and you're just kind of hardened up all in your heart and all of that you're just not feeling it the universe is raining down on you and you just don't even feel it mm. <laughs> find a network chiropractor find a network massage therapist find a network body worker Oh, it, there's so much good in your feelings. There's a lot of really crazy stuff, but there's a lot of really good stuff. I swear that's where like the power of God comes from right there. I don't know. I have a different way that I, you know, see it all. I love you because we're all connected, you know. Tune into that womb. Nurture your feelings. You know, to get emotional maturity, nurture the hurt in your feelings. 
you know, confront the hurt in your feelings. Call in help. Call in security teams. Call in, you know, protection. Call in all of the things that you feel like you need. It's all there in you for you. Don't let anyone tell you um, how to do it, you know? I love you guys for your offer. If you want to talk more about this, definitely message me because this is my topic. And this is what a lot of people are going through. A lot of people are feeling stuck because a lot of people don't understand the wound and the trauma that is in the womb and the cell memory. You know, it's, it's cell memory of trauma. You know, and in and, and that cell memory is the past lineages cell memory, right? So like our cells remember the past trauma, but we don't remember that with our minds, yet it's playing out in our lives. See what I'm saying? That's how it works. And I know it sounds really weird and all of those things, but that's really how it works. Like the cells in your womb state, in your reproductive system for both men and women, remember the trauma that's been passed and passed and passed and passed and passed and passed, and passed down. You know, and it's crazy space because it's trauma mixed with like super beauty magic. You know what I'm saying? And so that's like where your intuition and your insecurities meet up with one another and your envisionings from that. You know, that's kind of where the light and the dark meet up. You know, we all have the light and the dark within us, right? And then we envision from there. And that's why I'm all about balance because like if you can just, you don't have to get it right, but if you get balance, you can just, it, it's just like a flow. It's just a natural flow. You know, alignment is when you can be tuned into the pulse of the earth. You can get the cues from the earth, from your body, from the animals around you. You can kind of see what's going on already in the energy before you even see it. It's all in you. And it's everybody, it's the boxes that, that are keeping people from bringing up their specialness. Right? And I'm here to cheer that on. Like, I'm here to cheer on the things that most people don't want to cheer on about you, you know? Those special things that don't fit in a box and make you feel so weird. I'm here to cheer you on about those things, you know? We all have these really, really special gifts in our hearts. We all have really special ways that we give love and that makes us feel good, right? And that's what needs to come out, right? when you're blocked off, that's blocked off. <laughs> you know, you're just like kind of that neighbor that just like ain't fucking with no one. And that's cool. But that's not letting your blessings come in. And, you know, we're supposed to let it make it rain on us. For real. I really do believe that. <clears throat> I believe that God wanted us to let the universe make it rain on us. But also knew that we had to do a lot of work to get to that place where we weren't in a poverty mind frame. You know, how do you get up out of poverty mind frame? Your womb space. I love you because we're all connected. I love you because I know all these wounds are hurting. So I'll show my love real quick. <clears throat> we got so much fun stuff going on at the yoga studio, guys. There's so much fun that you can get involved with um, that's just unique to what you love, right? <clears throat> but if you're paying attention to all the things that frustrate you, that's what you're giving your attention to, right? So we get to choose what do we give our energy to. Do you give your energy to something that keeps frustrating you? Or do you start from the doo-doo, right? Because if you're in that space, that's the doo-doo, right? So from the doo-doo, you have to slowly but surely make time to, to think of, to do, think, say, be what you love, 
right? At whatever that means to you. You know, whether it be working out, praying more, you know, getting to church, getting out in the community, going to the river, like whatever it is for you that you need to do from the doo-doo to start making yourself love your days better, that's what you need to do. <clears throat> if you feel stuck, you need to take the step. You need to get that ass in the shower. Peace and love to you and yours too, love. You know, you need to take yourself for a walk. You know, you need to call a friend maybe and make a lunch date. Maybe change your job. Go try a new park. Ride your bike. Get on roller skates. Start walking dogs. Be whatever. <laughs> right? Hang out with the kids. The kids will always get you into your imagination quick. You know, our imaginations, that's another thing. A lot of people talk about, oh, you know, third eye is the devil and, and the whatnots. You know, that all comes from the womb, too. You know, if you're, if you're on that third eye is the devil, go take some time and spend some time with your womb, boo. That's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it's directly connected to the womb, and it's, it's a blessing. And so if you see... The womb or the third eye or the root space or any of the energy centers as anything less than a blessing. Spend time with your feelings. Spend time with your roots. <laughs> I love you because we're all connected. One love.